Music Maker lesson. Josh here with Music Maker. Uh, I am here on Technique Telecaster Tuesday. This is my Squire Telecaster. Nothing fancy. Regular old Squire Telecaster. I really love this guitar. It's just, it, it does what it needs to do for a telly. Um, anyways, I wanted to come on and talk about this week's routine. I do this every week, and a lot of my routines are similar, so forgive me if some of this is a little redundant, but I think it's important to have a pattern. I think it's important to form good habits. I think it's important to do this stuff. So hopefully these little lists can be kind of inspiring for you. If you want to do something more in-depth, please do go visit me on my website. And definitely, as always, remember to like and subscribe. Ring the bell. Do that one up. Anyways, here's the list. Again, it's got a lot of typical stuff for me. Keeping my mind fresh. I'm just going to kind of go down it. I'm going to go backwards today, though. Um, let's keep it fresh. So, um, this week I got some project work. I'm doing a video for Shea Beats. He's got a YouTube channel. It was really fun to work on his project. And uh, him and I kind of go way back to these open jams that, that I used to host in Philly. Um, every Tuesday night we had this, this Dobbs open, uh, at the legendary Dobbs, um, we used to have this open jam. It was always a good time and I think he came out quite a few times and, and ended up playing his music. So it was, it, we used to have a good time doing that and I don't know, I saw him doing his stuff online. I'm like, man, let me throw a guitar part on there. So um, that's where we're getting. I'm also learning some anime music. I have some students that are learning how to do it. I have one in particular who's actually posting on YouTube. His name is, his, his handle is KyoD. Um, and uh, he's really into like anime and stuff. And I love that music. I'd never really get into it myself because I'm like learning a bunch of other things. And it, you know, it's like you kind of try and stay in your lane so that you can get the best as, as you can at something. But I think this is his lane. So I'm gonna go ahead and learn some of that music for him so that we can maybe make our own recital video together. And then I've got some other recital vids that are, that are in the works. I have actually some drummers um, that need accompaniments on some of their things. So I'm gonna be going ahead and adding that this week. That's just for fun stuff, but uh, it, it also keeps me working, you know? Um, always, always, always practicing my blues and my Bach. That's with my metronome here. I'm using a Korg. A lot of people use the phone app. Those are great. But I think, um, I noticed one day, and maybe it was just my phone or something, but it was like kind of like laggy and like glitchy. So I went and got the Korg TM, it's a TM60 uh, tun uh, tuner metronome guy. And, uh, it's, you know, doing pretty awesome for me. So I'm doing that. Continuing three note per string pentatonics. I'm just doing it in some different keys for now, but I'm probably going to add some patterns to it to like play three notes and then play the second three notes and the third three notes, so forth. And then, as always, fingerboard stuff, arpeggio trees, spread boys, kind of continuing those. I added dominant seven flat fives to my arp trees last week, so the tree grew by like another four branches or so. Um, and I'm just trying to get it up to 48. It's a little sloppy. I'll admit it's a little sloppy right now, but if 48 is my top speed, uh, and I'm pushing for my top speed with kind of new material. So that's expected. And you know, what I do to, to get it up there is I actually practice the new part, maybe a little bit slower, get that feeling really good. And then I actually like crank it up. I, I crank up my BPM to like maybe 50 or 52, a little bit above my top speed, try and practice it there. It's sloppy, there's mistakes, but then I pull it back to 48, and usually I can, I, can, I can hang with that. I don't recommend that for everybody. It's not necessarily the best way to do it. I think for most people, it's just stay slow and keep it that way. But I've, I've found that like maybe pushing myself just a little bit beyond and then pulling it back is sometimes helpful for me. So if that is helpful for you, I encourage you to go ahead and try that. If, it, if you're not sure, you know, go ahead and try it. And if it's not productive, stop doing it. Um, but that's something that, it, like I said, it seems to work for me. Um, now, what I wanted to really kind of talk about today, because I always have these on here, is my fingerboard practice. I do this one on, um, on a couple of, like, different levels. So basically, the fingerboard practice is really simple. Pick the fourth string because there's some scratchiness to it. Pick the fourth string. You turn your amp up, you turn your guitar up, right? Start with that, right? No reverb, 
no effects, no anything like that, because you want to hear very, very, very clearly what your hands sound like on the instrument. That's the only way to do that, just really, really clean, straight to the amp. So I just play like first finger. I, I kind of will do this. I'll arrange it into four fret sectors, and then your hand can move, and then every four frets, right? Even if you're up here, just kind of scrunching. Right? So that said, you start there. And see if you can just place everything down. Clean tones, no noise. None of that. That's bad, right? So everything, no noise. Level one of doing this is just doing really long notes, like maybe even that long. See that little noise that was right there? I would, I would have told a student to stop right there. All right? Right? So just all the way up. I go up to fret 12. And then you go backwards. Again, no noises. Noises are your enemy. You can make them later in your music. You can use noises for music, but for practicing, we want to practice just having the purest possible tone. You know, so that's step one, is just get your tone straight, get on the fretboard that way. Step two, I think, get it in time. This is where it gets actually really, really tricky. So, uh, TM2. I do this. Sixty beats per minute. Start with two beats. So you can do it all over, then do one beat, then I have a rhythm practice. So we do one beat, all the way forwards, all the way backwards. I'm going to skip backwards the same way. Backwards is harder, there's going to be more noise because you're letting go. Once you can do that though, then I try two. Skipping. Still focus, making no noise. Then after I do twos, do threes. backwards. Threes is weird because you have four fingers, but we're doing three, so you get one, two, three, then you emphasize on fourth finger, one, two, three, then we emphasize third finger, one, two, three, then we emphasize second finger, one, two, three, then it resets back to first, one, two, three again, it cycles through that, and then it does the same thing opposite, one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one, two, three, then one, two, three. So it changes. Beware of that on the odd number ones. One, two, three, one, two. It's a little bit of a coordination game. It's a little tricky. It's fine. 
Had a little noise coming down, that's okay. Then, fives. Again, this is tricky because we do one, two, three, four, five. One with our second finger, two, three, four, five. One with our third finger, two, three, four, five. So it gets a little tricky with the coordination again, but again, practice it. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Then same with six. Tuck it to tuck it to tuck it to tuck it to one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Little bit of a coordination with sixes too, because you'll start with this one, two, three, four, five, six, then third finger one, two, three, four, five, six. But then the good news is it goes back to one. Your first finger will, will restart on that one again, unless you start with a different finger. So hopefully this was helpful exercise for you this week. My main thing this week, other than that, just keep on with the metronome. The metronome is such, such a big help for, helper in terms of groove and in terms of being able to groove. Um, and if you can play with that, it's just such a big, big thing. So anyways, again, like I said, hopefully that's helpful. If you want to do a more in-depth lesson, please do visit me on my website. Go get the new packet, 2021, brand new, dark ink, reorganized packet with even some extra stuff in it. So go to my website and at least get that. Um, or sign up for some lessons. Or uh, you can check out there's some member content there too, so you can see some extra, more in-depth teaching videos. Um, thanks again, and I'm going to play myself out. Please do like and subscribe.